Good morning, Ezra. It's it's 621 in the morning right now. I was supposed to wake up at 430 today. Well, I wasn't supposed to, but I was trying to wake up at 430 today so that I could go to work by like 5-ish. 515. And that didn't happen. One, because my alarm never went off. And two, because it's raining, so I don't have to go to work today. Yay! Yay, Friday off. I don't think I've worked a full week since I started. Um, like, full day work week. Four day work week, usually. So, anyway, to answer your first question, my bed at college was so soft because I use, like, that foam egg crate thing. Um, it works miracles. I got home, and I immediately threw it on my bed because I can't sleep without it now. I sleep like a baby. I don't know why. But, like... Once I put it on, it was just, it was easy to fall asleep. I was just like, okay, I can't do homework in bed anymore. <coughs> I made notes again, which is probably a good thing because I, I told you I was going to make this video like two days ago. Oops. So you said, um, that like a fifth grader had to come up to you and tell you that you need to wear a bra. I can see how that'd be mortifying, mortifying, but um, at the same time, I think you're kind of lucky that someone was, I don't know if you knew this person, like as a friend, or as just someone passing by in the hallway, but I think it was really cool that you had that person to say, hey, um, you might want to, uh, you know, wear a bra, because I didn't have that, so, like, um, I didn't, I didn't wear a bra for quite a while, and I also didn't shave my legs and armpits for a really long time, because my mom was afraid I was gonna, like, cut myself or something like that, or just, like, do it wrong, so I wasn't allowed to do any of, I wasn't allowed to do that for quite a while, <clears throat> until finally it got to the point that people were making fun of, like, not only how long my legs were at the time, they're not that long anymore, but also how hairy they were getting and, like, how they looked like men's legs. Um, I don't, I don't know if people made fun of my boobs so much. It, it was my legs that did it. So, I wish someone had told me earlier than my mom that it was time to put on a bra. It was time to start shaving because they look hideous. <coughs> So, not, I don't know. It's a really tough situation to be in, I totally understand. Um, you're also talking, you were also talking, I can't speak in the morning. I'm sorry. Um, you were also talking about how women should start, like, supporting each other more, so, um, that was a good example with, like, um, from your book, Cunt. Uh, the... Where are, where are they from? I can't remember where they were from. But they weren't from the U.S. And they were really surprised when they came here that the women of the U.S. were really catty towards each other. And, yeah, I think you're right. I think it does have to do with men being around. I don't... I don't know why, though, because... I'm just imagining, like, if I was a guy, and I passed by this group of women, and they just started going, nip, 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 then I don't, I probably wouldn't go up and talk to them, um, because they seem to be, like, in the zone with each other, and then, I don't know, I think it would be easier for them to, like, imagine their future with one of those women, and it's always like, bah, 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 just like it is with their friends. So, that's... It just wouldn't be attractive at all. And it, even to a woman, it isn't. It's just like, what are you doing? What did I do to you? I'm sorry if I screwed up. So, I think... We have to be... I don't know, if we want to be liked by liked and admired by men we need to like and admire ourselves and each other as women just to like get rid of that so it's we're not being 
I don't know, if there's legitimately a problem and needs to be argued out, then by all means, but, um, I don't know, kind of going back to, um, the vagina monologues and how the guys were, the guys in the comments were just like, this is really unattractive, I don't know. I think generally we just need to be attractive for ourselves. We can't try to impress anyone, and if they don't recognize that they're not worth um, befriending at the very least. What else is I gonna talk about? Oh, you asked what are we doing? So, I, I don't know. Maybe it, it, didn't, it definitely didn't start out this way, but I think this channel has, like, since we tried to- I can't talk! Since we started talking about, like, sex and development and reproductive rights and women, I think we've kind of turned this more into a conversation that's open to other people. Unfortunately, um, unfortunately YouTube has, like, these different things going on where the little people like us don't get recognized unless they're partners with YouTube. And, um, we really don't have much of a following, so it's just a conversation between you and me, but like, if I thought I saw something shiny. <laughs> um, but if we turn this, this channel into like more, if we started getting more followers somehow, and, I don't know, that's up to us, like, how we want to do that, if we want to do that, if we're ready to do that, because, I mean, we talk about sex a lot, and we, like, give away all these details, give away, we, we say all these details about our lives that we wouldn't necessarily tell some person walking in the hallway, or something like that, like, I'm not gonna go up to some chick at St. Kate's and say, hey, I've had sex, I like this, I am... It's just not done that way. And it would be weird, it would feel weird. If nothing else. So, um... Where was I going with that? I don't know. Oh, I remember. Um, I think we need to, like, talk about how we want to expand our audience if we want to because I mean our one subscriber is wonderful I would love it if you like interacted a little bit more told your friends and then this would be in a bigger conversation anyway um, we could like spread the word and make sh make help women feel good about themselves and like they're not alone in things that we're feeling at least and maybe we could not advise because we're not professionals, and that's probably not very tactful of us if we claim that we're professional advice, because we're not. Um, but like, I don't know. Just open it up for discussion and get things on the table that we probably wouldn't have thought of because they're not happening in our lives. If that makes any sense. Um, outside of YouTube, though, it would be fun to, like, start something, just, I don't know. The internet is a powerful tool, but I think it's even more powerful if you're able to, like, actually go out and, like, be someone who's actually there and not someone who's, who you're watching through a screen in, like, if you're sitting at your computer in California, you're watching someone, you're watching a couple of people from Minnesota. That's, it's very nice of you. But, at the same time, we're not physically there to, like, make a difference in your life. Um. <laughs> and I really appreciated your gas station restaurant analogy with, um, in regards to masturbation and hooking up and having a relationship. I was kind <laughs> I understood what you were talking about, but I couldn't help but, like, smile and laugh at this, because, like... I don't know, when put down to that, when put down to, do I like potato skins, or do I want to go to a really nice, do I want to go to the Cheesecake Factory? That's kind of a no-brainer, but, um, 
I don't know. I don't, I guess I don't see masturbation as like this. You made it sound so desperate just saying, I'm really hungry, I want potato skins because that's what's there, as opposed to the Cheesecake Factory. And I think it could be, I think masturbation can be either, um, depending on your situation. Like, um, being in a relationship, it could be seen as desperate almost. Just like, my partner's not here, I'm really horny, I gotta get gotta get rid of this feeling, I gotta, I gotta satisfy myself, because no one else will. Um, but I don't think that's necessarily true. Hot. Go to work. Okay, it's done. But yeah. I don't know. It's a good analogy, but it's it's flawed because it's not always that way. I think that's all I have for you today. And it's almost 11 and a half minutes, so I'm gonna stop and then you can respond and then I will respond again because I don't have to work today. Uh, excuse me. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, bye Ezra. Maybe I'll talk to you later today and we just- oh wait, you're busy though. No. No, it's Friday. Yesterday was the day I was supposed to hang out, but we didn't. So maybe I will see you today. Okay. Bye.